Hi, good morning Aaron. My name is Luan Maley. I'm your invigilator for the OET speaking session on the 3rd of March 2020. How are you doing? Hi, good morning. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How about you? Well, I'm great. Can you tell me your full name for the record, please? My full name is Aaron Kiet. And what is your candidate number, please? My candidate number is 28094033. Thank you. And you are taking this test as a nurse. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Thank you. Can I see your ID, please? Sure. Here it is. The warm-up questions are not assessed and are a chance for us to get used to each other's voices. We'll just talk for two to three minutes. All right. When did you know you wanted to become a nurse? My path wasn't as straightforward as others. While I knew that, I wanted to pursue nursing as a profession. It took me a few years into life to realize it. I come from a long line of nurses in my family. Both my mother and my grandmother are nurses. And growing up, I felt drawn to the profession. But it wasn't something I knew I wanted to do until after I graduated from college with another degree. It started to click for me later when I was inspired by my mother and grandmother once more. Tell me about a time you had to deal with a difficult situation and didn't have the support of others available. I was in a difficult situation in my previous job. I worked under a tight deadline but couldn't get a few staff members to contribute to their work, as it was on a short staff day. Ultimately, I had to extend my duty hours myself to complete the work assigned to me. Since, I realize, the nursing job is not like the usual 9 to 5 working hours. It doesn't bother me much. How would you work with the charge nurse? I understand the importance of working in alliance with the charge nurse. It is the charge nurse who coordinates communicates and plans the entire department. I would try to understand how that professional wanted to coordinate care together. Then learn about the patient's desired care requests. Then try to make the best decision I can with that information. I firmly believe in the importance of decisions made by the charge nurse and I respect the position. What do you want to achieve with your nursing career? I'd like to be able to have more experience with those who need holistic care, thus contributing as much as I can to support and grow healthcare. I realize the importance of a nurse in the healthcare sector. My ambition is to provide my skills and knowledge to develop the community to the greatest extent I can, thus ensuring better care for the patients and the society. What are some of the most important things to consider in the nursing position? In simple and direct words, how not everything can be solved with a drug. We need to look more closely at what's happening with each patient and treat them individually. Sometimes, the words and care that we provide will be more effective and satisfying for the patients than the drugs given to them. That makes the nursing position challenging as well. Hence, it is the most important things to consider in the nursing position. Great. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, let's move on to role play now. I'll take the part of the patients or perhaps a relative and you'll take your professional role. The purpose of the role play is to get evidence of your ability to communicate effectively with patients. Use your ability to fulfill as much of the role play as possible. Do you have any questions? No. You have up to three minutes to prepare the role play. You will start the role play after that time. I'll let you know when three minutes are up. You can ask me if there is anything you are not sure about and you can make notes on the role play card if you want to. Here's a pencil for making notes. Thank you. You can look at the card during the test, but you must return it to me at the end of the test. Please start preparing now. Thank you.
Your preparation time is over. You can now start your role play. Don't worry if I stop you when the time is up. Thank you, Luan, for allowing me to assess your foot. From the assessment, I can confirm that it is a superficial dermal burn. That is, first degree burns, which affect only the outer layer of skin. Oh, really? Yes, Luan. Also, I can confirm the presence of blistering and a few white patches as well. Nevertheless, try not to worry. Long-term tissue damage is rare in these cases. Oh, I see. Well, before proceeding further, I would like to know the measures you have already taken for the burn. Sure, nurse. As soon as I drop the iron on my foot, I put an ice pack on for about 15 minutes. Okay. Then, I covered it with cling film plastic wrap and rushed to the hospital. All right. And may I know, have you tried cleaning the burn? No, nurse. I didn't try to clean it. Okay. What about taking medication for pain relief? Yes, I took some paracetamol about an hour ago. Thank you for sharing the information. Now, I will outline the next steps of the treatment. Okay, nurse. As always, to begin with, your burn will be examined by a doctor. And further, with doctor's prescriptions, we will be heading with the treatment procedures and dressing the burn. All right. By the way, Luan, may I know about any signs of shocks you are experiencing now, like dizziness, nausea, fever, or something similar? Yes, I did feel dizzy and sick just after it happened. But right now, I feel fine. All right. And I don't feel feverish as well. That's good to hear, Luan. Well, nurse, I would like to know what will be done about the blisters, please. That is a quite reasonable thought. Luan. I will give an idea of the possible treatment options available for blistering. Okay, that will be great, nurse. If the blisters are minor, just leave them alone. New skin will form underneath the affected area, and the fluid will be simply absorbed naturally. Okay. The fluid-filled blister keeps the underlying skin clean, which prevents infection and promotes healing. Oh, I see. Yes, and if the blisters are fluid-filled in the minor level, then the aspiration of fluid will be done and provide dressing to prevent the infection. Okay. If needed, the removal of the top layer of skin can also be performed and dress the area for better healing. Am I clear to you? Yes, nurse, you are. Great. These are the possible ways of treating the blisters. However, the decision regarding the treatment will be made by the doctor after consulting. All right, nurse. Do you have any more concerns to be addressed? No, nurse, not at the moment. And, I really hope, I won't be left with a scar. Your thought is sensible, Luan. Well, I will provide some insights on the possibility of scarring. Okay, nurse. I would like to know about it. Glad to hear that. Usually, the superficial burns heal within 14 days and leaving minimal scarring. Most often, it may consist of an increase or decrease and skin color. Okay. Also nurse, I wish to get the doctor's appointment as early as possible. Because I have reached first. Your thoughts are understandable. But Luan, for your information, in the emergency department, the patients are triaged. That is, the priority cases are dealt with first and not by the order of arrival. Hence I request you to wait for your turn. Nurse, I am in pain. Kindly, I request you to stay calm, Luan. And, your pain will be addressed with over-the-counter pain relief, if needed. Also, don't worry, our doctor will address the concerns very shortly. All right, nurse. I would like to confirm your willingness to wait to see the doctor. Yes, nurse, I will wait for my turn. That's great. I appreciate your decision. Thank you for listening to me. That is the end of your OIT speaking roleplay. All the best. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please, like this video and encourage us. Subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Kindly comment your suggestions and help us do better.